I've been watching boxing a long time and I can honestly hand on heart say that after 46 fights to have a knockout percentage ratio of 90% plus is absolutely amazing and it puts you at the top table when it comes to the conversation about being the heaviest, hardest hit puncher of all time. It's even more impressive if you win 43 of them fights and 42 of them are by way of knockout. So in this video I'm asking the question, is Deontay Wilder the hardest hitting heavyweight of all time and on top of that is he the hardest hitting human being in the history of mankind? That's the question I'm going to try and answer in this video. Modern day boxing has become a bit like football where it's like when it comes to the top tiers someone picks a fight that they like like a football team and they just support them no matter what and they won't see the positives in their opposition purely because they're so blinded by their bias for, for their fighter or their team and boxing has basically become that it's really annoying so if you're a Tyson Fury fan if you're an AJ fan or whatever I appreciate that you might not see this the same way or have the same views purely because you're supporting that person but let's get past that let's look at the actual attributes and what the guy has delivered and let's all remember that we fell in love with boxing first before any fighter I think that's important to remember that boxing is the number one love so keep your bias to one side and let's try and iron this out let's try and work out if Deontay Wilder is the hardest punching heavyweight in the history of boxing a criticism that Deontay Wilder always gets is that he can't box and he can't box, he's rubbish and he just relies on one punch. I mean, I suppose there's there's some element of truth that he does rely on one punch, but to say he can't box is a little bit unfair. Every time he gets in the ring with someone or when you look at his record, people are like, oh, he got in there with a bin man and that's why he knocked him out. It's not easy to knock out 43 bin men, 42 bin men, you know. They're not of zero level op opposition. They're not complete bombs. They're ranked professionals uh, and you know he beat them it's as simple as that people say oh yeah he beat them because they're no good and this that and the other but there's, there's been plenty of people who have gone in with journeymen who haven't stopped them you know it's it's about the the way in which he stops them and looking at Deontay Wilder his highlight reels are a thing of beauty I mean you could take his top 10 knockouts and put them up against a random list of top 10 knockouts from the past and it, it, it would be fairly even I mean Look at the Spilker knockout, that was a work of art, that was a thing of beauty. Dominic Brazil, I mean come on guys, seriously, that was it's beautiful, everything, he telegraphed it, landed it, bang. Guy was out with his arms spread, it's beautiful, it was the thing, this, that's the reason why we all watch boxing, let's be honest. I mean it didn't even look like he hit Hellenius and he was out with his arms spread with his eyes spinning in his head, it's amazing. And then there's another one, um, the Belarusian geezer, he, I think he fought him just after he fought Audley Harrison and what was his name Nikayevich or Likayevich or something he was the one where his, his legs were twitching he got hit so hard so I think there is a, a valid argument to say that Deontay Wilder is the hardest hitting heavyweight of all time I know people will go back in history and say oh yeah Ernie Shavers was a big hitter and he hit Ali so hard that the vibration woke him up but Ernie Shavers was like 6'3", 6 6'4". Back then they didn't have the, the protein that we had, they didn't have the technology we had, the, the knowledge we have. So you know, they were drinking raw eggs back in the day and I don't think Ernie Shaver's power realistic, realistically could compare to Wilder's. I know he might have good references and this, that and the other, but come on man, Deontay Wilder's power, power sorry, has to be on another level to Ernie Shaver's, just purely on like the physics and the size and I don't know how it all works with geometrics or whatever you want to say. There's no way that old school heavyweights, not even Foreman. Foreman, yeah, big George Foreman was big for back in the day, but he was 6'4". I mean, come on, guys, there's levels here. Uh, Foreman's power, nowhere near Deontay Wilder's, in my opinion. And for the same reasons stated there, I'm going to go on record and say Mike Tyson's power wasn't anywhere near Deontay Wilder's. He was, what, 5'11 on a good day against 6'8", six, 6'7". Six, it's, it's, it's not going to happen, guys. Mike Tyson's power nothing compared to Deontay Wilder. There's going to be a few of you there who watch UFC who are going to argue that Francis Ngannou has um, got a better punch than Wilder or is just as good a punch and he's just as powerful. I mean, it, it could end up being like that. At the end of his career, we'll have to take a look and decide. But as far as I know, like if Francis Ngannou is 20 fights into his career. And all I can say to counter that is Deontay Wilder has got more first-round knockouts than in Francis Ngannou has UFC fights so as of right now I don't think it's fair to compare maybe when Francis Ngannou finishes his career we'll take a look back and decide then but as of now I don't think Francis Ngannou comes close to Deontay Wilder 
to, to summarize, um, long story short, yes, I do believe Deontay Wilder is the heaviest hitting puncher in the heavyweight division in the history of boxing. I believe he's the heaviest hitter out of the two guys between Ngannou and himself. And realistically, he's probably in the top, I don't know, 0.001% of the heaviest punching people in the history of mankind. And that is when you consider that 200 years ago, the average height would have been about five foot, five foot two. So literally you can erase anything prior to that and say they had no chance of punching stronger than or harder than Deontay Wilder. So oh, in the last 200 years, there can't have been that many people alive that have punched harder than Deontay Wilder. So I'm gonna say, yeah, he's in a very, very elite group of the, as I say, top 0.11111% of this punch as the world has ever seen. All right, guys, that's all I've got for this one. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, like, comment, share, subscribe, or don't. I'll catch you on the next one. Love.